weeks ago, I had a big crash. I fell down really hard on a gravel road and ripped up a lot of skin and got a big hole in my elbow. I got a really bad infection, which took me out of training for a while. And unfortunately, I couldn't race in Andorra. But um, now we are in the fourth round in Lichy and I try to make a, a combat race here. Um, it's really hard for me still. It's a lot of pain in my elbow because yeah, the infection is, is still is gone, but the elbow is not perfect yet. Um, but I'm really happy that I have my team around me to support me and I can feel they have my back even in the bad days. Um, so yeah, no pressure for the racing and Lichia, just getting back into racing and hopefully like having a good day, just smooth race. Okay, so we're here in Leger, France, for the fourth round of the uh, Cross Country World Cup. They've not had a, a World Cup here for quite a few years, since 2004 was the last time. So it's a, it's a new course for most people. Well, I think it's a pretty much a new course anyway. It's got two, kind of two main climbs and two main descents, pretty much. Uh, quite a lot of grass, but some really nice sections in the woods, and it uses some of the, like, the downhill sections, which they have for the bike park. So it's kind of a, a nice combination of lots of different stuff and um, it's a difficult decision whether you ride the full suspension or the hardtail but I've decided to use my full suspension. Um, it's, it's a really good buy and I think it should allow me to have a, a strong complete race and to be able to recover properly on the descents, to get really good traction on the climbs which are a little bit lumpy on the grass um, and also to be able to lock it out and, and climb fast and sprint fast if I need to. So yeah, I'm really happy uh, about this race. It's my, it was my first time uh, on top uh, three on a short race. So yeah, it's uh, really it's amazing. I'm really happy about this result. My feeling uh, was good. Uh, my shape is uh, going better every week. The team, uh, it's, uh, it's really, really nice. We have uh, the, the best bike ever. So yeah, the, the crowd, it's on fire in France. Our, uh, our French uh, save me and crying me, uh, hey Victor, let's go! So yeah, I'm really happy and uh, I look, I'm looking forward to Sunday and I hope to, to realize uh, a good, uh, good race. Nutrition. Nutrition is a critical part of the performance and uh, many people are asking about the meals, last meal before the race and so on. So I think we have to always keep in mind that nutrition is meant to bring you water, energy, what's needed to build, rebuild your body and what's needed to maintain the health of the body. So water, it's simple, it's water or it comes from other drinks. Uh, energy, it's mostly carbohydrates. Uh, and on an XL race is only carbohydrates, but on training and during life it's also about lipids. And to rebuild and build your body and muscles, it's about proteins. Um, and then to maintain your heels, you also need some fibers, vitamins, minerals and so on. The carbohydrates, it comes from pasta, easy, that's what uh, Recyclic knows. It can be rice as well, it can be potatoes. Uh, lentils, the um, protein, it comes from meat, fish, eggs. These are the main sources of proteins. And then the lipids are coming from fresh oil. Could be olive oil, uh, canola oil, uh, different oils. And when they are just raw like that, that's the best. You can eat it with a salad or something like that. And the idea with every meal, lunch, 
dinner, breakfast, is to bring all of this. And then all is about proportion. Three days before the race, if it's a target, if it's an important race for you, already three days before the race, the riders, they begin to eat more carbohydrates, much more. They bring every of each category, but they eat much more carbohydrates at every lunch. Uh, and then the other need is that you need to have something pretty light, easy to digest before the race because it's really intense. So sometimes it's about personal uh, testings, uh, personal history, you know what is easy to digest, what is less easy. If you don't know, the best is to start with something always easy. For example, for breakfast, riders the breakfast before the race, they may uh, take a classic breakfast as what they do the other days, could be cereals with yogurt, could be even some bread with uh, marmalade, uh, and then the proteins are coming from uh, uh, dairy, could be milk and yogurt, and it can be also, if the race is closed, if it's really a target, could be an omelette or, or boiled eggs with rice. It's simple, easy to digest right before a race. And the rider, they always eat at least three hours before the race, and mainly four hours most of the time. And then it's good, with this uh, you have what, or what you need to eat well before race. A good start and uh, after it was more hard but uh, I think after it was better and better and uh, I finished uh, 11 and yeah it was better than the, uh, the last week so yeah I'm happy. <laughs> big fight today with myself. Um, I know I, I don't belong in, in the back end of the field, but um, I think it's a step on the way to get healthy again. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm proud that I came through and I never tried anything like this. <laughs> yeah, I got a pretty good start and then someone had ridden into me on the, kind of in the tight wood section at the top of one of the climbs. And um, basically I think they'd ridden into, well, into my rear derailleur and bent my hanger. But yeah, I didn't realize the first time through the pit. Um, and then I just started pressing on up the climb and I tried to adjust it myself, um, but couldn't because this wasn't the problem. And Eddie did a mint job at changing my, my hanger, but this isn't the quickest, the quickest thing to change in the pit. So I lost quite a lot. Um, yeah, that's really frustrating. Um, next time we go again, so there we go. I'm happy uh, about my 11th place, but uh, I want to be better result next week. It's a French, uh, French uh, champ, and uh, I want to, to be a, a good uh, good race on uh, l'Alpe d'Huez. It's uh, maybe it's for the next time. The roller coaster of emotions. Today was a race that I uh, had to qualify for the Olympics. I had to do top 12 for a half a nomination and I finished 13. Which is an impressive result, I think, for a first year elite. So I should be really happy, but uh, <laughs> you know, it was just one, I missed just one spot. So I would say mixed feelings, but uh, well, no. I, actually, I have nothing to complain. It's, uh, I should be happy. The, the, the crowd was amazing. Uh, I paced the race really well, I think. I, I, I just enjoyed it and uh, yeah, amazing result. Well, my race was uh, not too bad, not too good actually. It ended up in uh, 14, but uh, I'm super happy for uh, Milan 13th place, uh, which hopefully gives him to the Olympics. So uh, yeah, it was a good day in France. As you can see, quite a dusty one, but uh, yeah, it was fun actually to race.